All right, this is part two of T45. Uh, I'm still talking about uh, the second derivative test, uh, but we're going into different types of functions, the even and odd functions. The definition of an even function is any function that we're going to call y equal f of x, where if I plug in a negative x, meaning a negative number for x, it will be equal to f of that negative x, which is the y value that I would get, will be the same y value <clears throat> that I would get if I plug in the positive of the x. So those two will be the same. So this is saying just the same y values, the same y's. So whatever y's I have on the negative side will be the same y's as on the positive side. So a uh, good function to see that with is f of x equal x squared. That's a even function. And you know that's a parabola pointing up. <coughs> Excuse me. So when we look at what is it symmetric to? Uh, well, sym symmetry, symmetry just means where is the symmetry? It's being cut by the y-axis, so it's symmetric to the y-axis. Okay? It's concavity. What's the concavity on the the left-hand side of the y-axis? Well, it's, it looks like it's concave up. And on the right-hand side, it's also concave up. So the concavity is the same across the y-axis. So if I have a, a even function, the concavity would be the same across the, the y-axis. Let's talk about increasing and decreases. On, on the left-hand side, my function is decreasing. But as I go to the right-hand side of the, of the uh, y-axis, it starts to increase. So increasing and decreasing is opposite. As I go across the y-axis. Right? So real quick, let's look at example four, because they're talking about that this is an even function. Now I know that concavity, concavity is tested by the second derivative. So basically they're saying that the second derivative will be the same across the y-axis. And increasing and decreasing is talking about the first derivative, f prime. So they're saying that the f prime the even functions will be opposite across the y-axis. So looking at this, the first thing we have are the y values. I know that across the, the y-axis, I'm going to have the same y's, right? So uh, right past the negative 2, since it was negative on this side, it's going to be negative on this side, on that interval. Since it was zero on this side, it's going to also be zero. Since it was zero for the negative one, it's going to be zero for a positive one because all negative x's are going to give me the same y values that the positive x's of that same x is going to give me. So that interval is positive, so this will be positive, and so on and so forth. So we could fill that out. It'll be the same across the y-axis. We know the y-axis is when x is, I'm crossing the y-axis when x is equal to zero, right? So now f prime, we know for even functions change to the opposite. So if this is the y-axis, right in this interval was negative. The opposite of negative, of course, is positive. So in this interval, it will be positive. If it was negative at the negative one, 
is going to be positive at the one. And so on and so forth, so we could fill that out. And same thing with the if double prime, it said it's the same across. So that's just like how we did with the Y's. It's positive uh, on the left-hand side, that first interval on the left-hand side. So it'll be positive on the first interval on the right-hand side because it's the same concavity, same second derivative for even functions. Uh, it was positive in that second interval, I mean zero at the, neg the negative one, so it's going to be zero at the one. Negative in that third interval, or the, the interval uh, from negative two to negative one. So from one to two uh, is going to be, remember we're saying it's the same, so it's going to also be negative. And I would uh, finish that one. So now with odd functions, it's a little different. Uh, odd functions still start off with y equal f of x, some function f of x. If it's odd, it's saying that for whatever y value I get for plugging in a negative x, it's going to be equal to the negative, or another word for negative is opposite, the negative of the y values that I would get if I plugged in the positive of that x. So. We're not having same y values here. We're having opposite y values, so opposite y's, all right? So a good function with that would be f of x equal x cubed, 3 being odd, right? So that function looks sort of like, like so. Trying to draw it a little neater, holding the iPad and drawing it at the same time. It's kind of hard. So it's kind of got a little curve and it go to the zero, right along, and then. Uh, so forgive that. Tried to fix it. <laughs> All right, so if I look at this, it's symmetric at the origin, origin, or that line y equal x, okay? The concavity, well, on the left-hand side is concave down, but on the right-hand side is concave up. See how it's pointing up? So the concavity is opposite, uh, on that uh, across the, the y-axis. And increasing and decreasing, well, it's increasing on the left-hand side, and when it gets to the right-hand side, it's also increasing. So the increasing and decreasing is the same across the y-axis. So you should be able to fill out that third example.